Hi, my name's Lance. I'm an avid cyclist. I love birds and I love great food. And today, I'm going to show you one of my favorite creations. I'm going to show you how to make the pork tenderloin with mushroom ragu and port wine demi glaze. These are my birds right here. You got Bunny, and the rainbow colored one in the back behind my head. That's Sherry. Sunny's a green cheek conure, and Sherry's a sun conure. They're usually here watching me cook, and they're usually the ones who let me know what the food tastes like because they always want to have a bite. <laughs> They can eat everything, but they're my best critics. Welcome to my kitchen. Now, this recipe really sounds complicated, but you know what? It's really not. And what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna start with this potato. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and peel it. We want this to get cooked as fast as possible. So what we're gonna do, it doesn't matter really how big the potato or how small the potato is because it's gonna get mashed up anyway. I just cut it right in the middle. That way I have a flat base to work with, the potatoes can move around, and it's a lot easier to dice your potatoes up. Normally, to make garlic mashed potatoes, the traditional way is to roast, the, uh, roast the, the garlic to nice and golden brown and then add it to the potatoes and mash it up. Yeah, a lot of people don't really like that. They're not really into garlic like I am. So what I'm doing today is I've got the garlic inside the water. The water is going to take up all the oil. It's going to take up all the flavor from the garlic and it won't be as pungent as roasting the garlic. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the potatoes right in there. We're gonna let that sit in the water here for about 15 minutes to, to get nice and soft. Now this here, as weird as it looks, is what's called a pork tenderloin. It is the filet mignon of the pork loin. Now what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna marinate it. Now what I have right here is a mixture of thyme, rosemary, chopped garlic, salt and pepper, and some olive oil. That's all you need. Because we're gonna take this whole entire mixture right here and we're gonna rub it all over the pork tenderloin. Just rub it in. Make sure it's rubbed in good. And now we're ready to sear this thing. Searing is a quick process. It's a process where you're just closing up the pores. The reason why you're closing up the pores is because you don't want this to dry out. And I'll show you right now as I do it. With a pork tenderloin like this, the searing process is more like two minutes per side. If you were gonna substitute the pork tenderloin with a pork loin, which is a lot larger, it's eight minutes per side to sear in all the juices nicely. This is ready to go. Now that the tenderloin's done searing, it's ready to go into the oven for roasting. The oven's set at 375 degrees, and it'll be in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. 